now, do it all the time. Your thoughts are a weighty line. Hey guys, I'm Shani Renee and welcome to my channel, Shani Be Shining. If you are new to my channel, I want to send you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out today's content. If this is a welcome back, hey boo, I miss you and I hope all is well with you. In today's video, um, I am just trying to get it together. I am trying to get my life together. I'm trying to be better to myself. I am trying to love on myself. Um, if you been hanging out with me and you know who your girl is then you probably heard me say this more than once but this is with a different type of integrity at least i hope that's my goal i am up it is um saturday morning i want to go to the gym um just try to get the day started right today is the first day back to the gym and i don't know how long and so um <clears throat> My goal is not to go in there and go hard. My goal is to go in there and get myself moving, get started, try to develop a new habit, a new lifestyle, a new way of living my life. And just, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, you guys, so I did 45 minutes on the treadmill. Um, it might not seem like much. It's okay. It's not a lot, but to start, it's somewhere to start. And um, I've gotten so fat that having this weight trainer on, Lord have mercy, it's compressing, it compounding all the... Oh. Whew. It's 
pounding on my fat, y'all. This is getting my life together. You got to start somewhere. Right now, <laughs> I'm starving. Last night, I had um, a salad from Chick-fil-A for dinner. I got home from work. I was exhausted. And so, um, that was just a quick fix. And I tried to be on the healthy side. So, at least I did a salad. So, for right now, I am extremely hungry. It's 10.30 in the morning. I'm going to run to um, the grocery store just so I could get my little smoothie packets. Because I don't think I have... Um, any left in the freezer <sighs> this is going to be a busy weekend um so i figured i might as well just turn the camera on because i haven't in so long i just need to start giving back to myself i need to start taking care of myself um i'm getting older that is no secret and um i am feeling the changes in my body um, like my body seems extremely weak and I'm really not okay with that because I'm getting older but I'm not old like I'm not 70 <laughs> and so um, I feel my body getting extremely weak even like sitting down in a chair or um, picking something up now it's just even sitting on the toilet I feel like my legs and my muscles and my body are just week and I need to tighten that up I need to get that together because that's not cool um, again because like I said getting older but I'm not 70 um, yeah I need to do better I know I've, I've said that 19 million times even on this channel but um, I'm hoping that eventually I would throw it to the wall and it'll stick and it'll stop falling off um, yeah, so that's where um, it's where I'm at currently in this space right now in this moment. Oh, God, I swear thing. Yeah, you can see a sweat mark. <sighs> that show, I did do something, y'all. I wasn't in there playing. It wasn't for camera. It wasn't for show. Um, when I put the treadmill on variety, it will take the um, incline of the treadmill from zero to eight eight. I about to say 800 god bless it to eight and it kind of just fluctuates and bounce between those between that and so um <clears throat> it gives me a good workout it says if i'm working walking the hill i do want to start walking um i do want to start walking my rubido again um i got a new dog you guys um I had really, really tried to not be impulsive, and I think I still wound up being impulsive. I've had my poodle baby um, for 19 years, and when I adopted her, she was two years old. She's now 21 years old, and she's still hanging in there, but she don't have a whole lot of life left in her, and um, I was just kind of just like, I had already come to the, um, consciously, I had already developed like, oh, you know, she's going to be passing soon. Um, she won't be with us long. And so I was just like, I'm just not going to get any more pets. And I had been telling myself that for a while. I'm not getting no more pets. I'm not getting no more pets. I'm good. I'm done. And, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, started going and shopping and looking around for a dog for my son. And one day we went to the animal shelter and it was like this Doberman puppy. <laughs> yes, I said a Doberman. Uh, little puppy, he is three months old. He wasn't little at all. He was a humongous puppy. And I fell in love. I fell in love. And so um, my, little, my little white dog that you've seen on videos before, that is, that's not the poodle, that's a Mountie Poodle, that's Bentley. He's not the old one. The old one, you never, I don't think I've ever put her on camera. She used to be so cute, y'all. She's not so cute no more. My dog looked like Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> her 
her little hair is all falling out. She has all these liver spots all over her body. God bless her heart. Um, yeah, so she's, she hasn't been on camera. But the dog that you have seen on camera, that's Bentley. So I gave, he went with my son. So because he had already been with my son for seven years before my son, you know, moved out or whatever. But um, so my son took that dog and I took a Doberman puppy. I've had him for a month. He's now four months he has so much energy. It is bananas. It's ridiculous. So I know right now he's kind of like stuck in the house because we're still going through vaccination, vaccinations, vaccinations. Um, so just to keep him healthy, he really, I really haven't been able to take him out and get him to the park and walk him in the neighborhood. Like even the vet is like, don't walk him in the neighborhood yet until he's fully vaccinated. And so I know it sounds ridiculous and most people probably be like, I ain't never got my dogs no shots. Like you're being ridiculous, Shawnee. But I mean, being younger, my mother had a lot of animals and there was times we did lose puppies to Parvo. I know it's a real thing. And so because he's so huge, he doesn't look like a puppy, but I got my dog for $25. If I had purchased him online, he would have cost $3,000. So in essence, I got a $3,000 for a $3,000 dog for $25 the least I could do is keep him healthy and don't subject him to parvo and kill the damn dog you know so I'm trying to you know I'm trying to do the right thing by the animal by keeping him inside right now until he's fully vaccinated but that dog need to run that dog got so much energy like my house is so small he's like doing like donuts in the house running around anyways you guys will meet him today I'm sure in today's vlog <sighs> Um, oh girl bye um what I'm doing with myself so I'm gonna just go ahead and um head to the grocery store grab a couple of smoothie packs go home make a smoothie I do need to go get a trash can so I do want to go to home goods oh so when I said that the animal my new little pet had tore up the trash can. I think I told you that. I'm not sure. Anyways, I need to go to Home Goods because um, my little dog. Why do I call him little? The dog is humongous. His paws is like massive. Let me pull this shirt down. I need to take that waist trainer off. Um. I'll stop talking because. This camera is going to start shaking like crazy. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. For you every time I try to be this We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Staring next to you You I try not to show How I feel about you We can get away When you only want to I just wanna get away Staring next to you You Yes, you came to the store for smoothie packs. How in the heck did this happen? <laughs> Just saying. good people I promised I came to the grocery store to get smoothie packs but you know the saying don't ever go to the grocery store hungry and so um when I got in there to go get my smoothie packs I was like oh let me get some almond milk and let me get some this and let me get some that and then what am I gonna eat for dinner and blah 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 blah, blah and god $300 later 
Let's go home and make the smoothie. Alright guys, I want to just run just a really, really quick grocery haul real quick and show you guys what I got from the grocery store. Um, I know I am not the only person who says, oh, I'm going to the grocery store to get one thing and then walk out with $260. So, I did say I was hungry. It happens. I'm just going to do a real quick run. So, um, I got the... What, 12 pack of Gatorade. My girls love this blue one. They drink that. These are my smoothie packets inside. Um, it's cut up frozen frozen fruit. Like you still see the fruit like in its natural state. It's just chopped up and frozen. Um, I am a cheese lover and this cheese is really good. I got sliced cheese as well as some turkey breast for sandwiches. I got um, two packs of mini water bottles. Um, they get wasted a lot in this house because people don't write their name or claim ownership once they take a sip or two and set it down. Nobody wants to claim it anymore. I got hot dogs because for some strange reason I was in the store and I was like, I want a chili dog today. I don't know where that came from or why, but I, that's what I wanted. I got some bananas. A friend of mine uh, told me to try these out, so I did pick these up and these were sitting right next to them. I couldn't resist it. I know you guys are like, Shani, you just left the gym. Yeah, I know, and I'm having a smoothie. It's all about balance. And, you know, I can't just starve myself. That ain't ever gonna happen. I'm never gonna deprive myself from the things I love. I just gotta have balance. This is a new one. I don't know what this tastes like yet. Lemon sugar, I am a lemon lover, so I'm gonna try those out. I'll let you know what I think. We've already had a conversation about these. Got Ritz crackers, some Cheez Its, um, ginger ale minis. Because if I'm gonna have some soda and I need some bubbly or my tummy is hurting, ginger ale is my jam. I got a loaf of bread for the sandwiches, box of veggie straws, got a box of chips for the girls. This, don't know why. Um, I've never used this before, but I seen it and it was like, oh, I want a chili dog. That's how that happened. Cause I seen this when I was getting tuna. And then I picked up quite a few of these, maybe six, seven of them, not sure. Um, they're usually just meat, cheese and veggies. This one is just veggie and a dip. 
And so I got quite a few of those. Some strawberries, blueberries, orange juice, apple juice, orange and pineapple, almond milk, sour cream, eggs, some lobster bisque, broccoli cheddar, and some tomato bisque because I will do a get your tail down. Get down. It's the puppy we was talking about in the car. Four months old, you guys, and you see he's on the table. Because he's a little baby and he's still got to learn. He's going to get a whooping. Get down. Hey. Down. 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 Allison. God, he's hard headed, you guys. But he, he a little baby. Some trail mix. I got pepper jack and I got some cheddar and I did the block because my cousin was pressing me like, oh, you know, the bag is not good for you because they put, they coat it with something, but whatever. So I figured maybe stop being lazy, start getting back to grading our own cheese like we used to. We might live longer. Soup. I love a soup and sandwich. And then I got napkins paper towels as well as the um, plastic cutlery um i got like four packs of tuna i'm probably already threw that in the pantry because i tuna sandwich the eggs and um yeah this is the groceries i just want to know if you my friend I just wanna know if you oh, pretend I know I've been away I'm just trying to get my people straight, girl Don't get my shit away So I had to turn the camera off. To get this right, I do have one egg here. I'll probably just boil because it would fit inside of my egg container. But I know I don't even look like I have a lot of food. Just more like drinks. I got it all cleaned out, organized, food put away, vegetables, fruit. I bet those they were yucky. And then meat. And that's all. If you ever hear my daughter on this channel ask me to buy pickles and I tell her no. This is why she just collects them. Jars and jars of pickles in the refrigerator. All right, um, why am I back at the grocery store? Um, I came out because you guys, I done wore my dang old self out. Um, Going to the grocery store after leaving the gym and being hungry, just, yeah. I bought, well, you guys seen the groceries that I bought, but then to put it away, to walk, clean out the refrigerator and clean the freezer and do all that, it's not what my goal was for the day, but it is what it is It needed to be done because it was just filthy, but, and there's groceries in the house, but I did just stop at the grocery store again because, um, yeah, I had coffee creamer in my work bag because I brought my creamer from work. 
um, yesterday and I left it in my bag. And it is 2.39, I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm exhausted. That might be the reason why I feel like I'm just spent, like I'm just spent, I'm done. But it might be because I haven't had coffee yet and I am a coffee addict. So, um, yeah, I had to stop at the grocery store again and then I did grab like um, a couple of like, um, not lean cuisines, but they're like some frozen dinner things, like little calories, whatever, whatever. So I grabbed that too. And then, why do I feel like I'm about to hit somebody? Um, I stopped at the beauty supply. I got some hair, some braiding hair, because um, I'm going to take these out, wash and deep condition my hair today, and then probably just braid my hair back up tomorrow. Um, I might start today. It depends on how I feel. I'm going to go pick my son up. He's going to come to the house and hang out for a little bit. And... Um, yeah, it just depends. It really don't take me a long time. The longest part, the hardest part of braiding my own hair is parting my hair. So, even like the way I, how the braids go around and I'm braiding the back. Like that part is, it's easy. I don't, it's not a hard for me. It's not hard for me. Parting my hair in the back. I'm in the mirror and I'm like, with the mirror and I'm trying to, that just takes 9 million years and it's annoying. Anyways. All right, good people. What? Like, what's happening here? What? So annoying. I need a nap, y'all. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys. Okay, so braids are out. Um, it's going on 8 o'clock. It has been such a long day. This day really did not go the way that I had expected it to go. But, um... I sat down, I watched a movie or two with my kids. I um, cooked, cleaned a little bit. This was not supposed to be a cleaning vlog, so I didn't vlog that stuff. But um, braids are out. I'm going to jump in the shower, wash my hair, get up under the dryer. I'm not gonna start my braids today. Um, I'll just knock it out in the morning. Tomorrow, I will not be hitting the gym tomorrow morning. I will be and getting this hair pulled together so that's where we at so it is going to be uh, i think good night for now and i will see you guys tomorrow yeah mm. eclipse <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm just checking back in with you guys. Um, I'm moving kind of slow, but um, 
I know I look crusty, but I'm just showing you guys my little braiding station. So I got my little hair right there. Then my little essentials. I got two mirrors because it helps me see. It's my little container in my cups. Some grease for my scalp when I'm done. Just a brush to keep things tight. So, and watching TV. I did grab me some, I grabbed me some snacks. So I took some veggies out, I'm gonna snack on some veggies. Yeah, so, took the veggies out so that they could warm up a little bit. I don't care for cold vegetables, raw vegetables anyways. I like a room temperature, so. That's what I'm gonna snack on. All right guys, so I was just pulling out the camera, show you guys my little progress thus far. I'm doing the braids a little bit thinner because I don't want them real heavy. Um, but they are like butt length in the back, but I don't want them to be too heavy. So I did a little thinner braid than your average box braid. So um, finished getting myself together. Just pulling out the camera to say hello. It's Sunday, it is noon ish um taking my time moving slow watching tv that's the vibe the sunday vibe i thought we was gonna get out in the streets we probably still will get out in the streets because this probably will take me two to three more hours so i still have daylight if i still want to get out we shall see um I'm looking a little dusty, crusty, excuse. I'm trying to get my life together so I could be presentable as I go out for the week. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll be done with the veggies once the ranch is gone. <laughs> like, okay, done. Hey, guys. So, it is um, pretty deep into the day. Um... Initially, I did have plans and desires to get out of the house and get in the streets, but then the streets got real rainy and the rain was just pouring. And so I just kind of just chilled in my bed and braided up the hair. The hair is done. Um, I kind of played with this hair a long time. It'll never take me as long as it took me today to do this. This usually like three hours, maybe four at the most. And I just played around with this hair all day. Um, as I shared earlier, I really didn't introduce him really, but um, the little puppy pressing, if I'm home, he wants time. So I stopped and had to give him time and did laundry. So my laundry's done for the week. And then I watched two movies while doing my hair. So I just played around with it. And these braids was giving me a hard time today, y'all. Um, I messed up. When I did these first five, I did the first five wrong to be bringing my hair up into a crown so then I struggled when I got to the side and I was like Lord how go close this up how I'm gonna bring this together into it's perfectly fine because I'm not going nowhere or doing anything I went back into braids so that I can continue to um go work out or do something sheesh so that's the reason why I went back up into braids um as I shared earlier, I'm not going to the gym today, but I will make sure. Can you hear my little baby whining? Um, I will pack my bag so that I can kind of be motivated and inspired to get my tail up and go to the gym tomorrow when I get home from work. But, um, yeah. I think for the remainder of the day, um, I kind of lounged in these pajamas all day. So I'll probably hop, um, probably, I'm going to hop in the shower, put on fresh pajamas, and then probably start uploading the videos and start playing with that, start editing that. Um, that's probably going to be the end of it. Um, so this was just me turning back on the camera and connecting and, um, and saying that. I want to give a huge, and I wish I would have did this earlier and not at the end of the video, but a huge shout out to a friend girl of mine, LB, LaShondra, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for motivating me, thank you for being inspiring, um, I appreciate you, I send you much love, 
and um to a second friend of mine's um arma i want to say thank you um i know you're not connected with this channel because you don't know that it exists but i'm sending love out anyways um i'm grateful for you because you allow god to use you and without you knowing you poured into my cup when it was really needed so for me that was just a blessing and so i thank you and i send mad love to you and in saying that as you go out in the world and you operate in this world don't forget to be kind don't forget to be light where there's darkness don't merge and morph into darkness like sometimes you got to be against the grain but be light where there's darkness and be loving be kind to others like it'll just make the world a better place so with that being said i thank you for watching today's content if you are new and you're not subscribed please do me a favor smash the subs button smash the like button come back and catch more videos with your girl um this was just a very sporadic video so um i hope that somebody was able to connect and enjoy the content today um i'll get back into the swing of things so join me in the journey of transforming my life i say that all the time i think i think the transform me might be new but i'm gonna uh, I'm always trying to get it right and get it together. And like I said earlier, I'm hoping one time I just toss it to the wall and it stick. <sighs> Anyways, if you watched the video thus far, thank you. Um, as I said earlier, go out in the world, be kind, be happy, always operate in love, and keep shining. Shiny Renee is out. Bye, guys.